Your local KX weather forecast is brought to you by Johnson Eye Care and Eyewear. Business Beat is brought to you by First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. The Special Olympics Club at Minot State University is taking a stand against the R word. The club does this to get students thinking about words that they say and how those words can affect their peers. Alexis Arthur is with us in Minot Live right now. Hi, Alexis. The Special Olympics Club set up in Old Main with a big banner that read, Spread the Word to End the Word. Throughout the week, the students asked their classmates to sign the banner, pledging that they would not use the R word. The club treasurer told me that they are trying to change the people first language. So this means we would address the person and then the disability. Now the banner is filled with more than 100 student signatures that have taken the pledge to stop using the R word. Understanding and seeing people walk by and going, oh, I never use that word or, oh yeah, I understand that that's not necessarily the right thing to use. So um, it's just great to see that there's change happening still today. Today was the last day they were set up in Old Main because the banner moved to the Dome where the Special Olympic State Basketball Tournament is. The club, the club hopes to continue spreading the message and maybe add a few more signatures to the banner this weekend. All right, Alexis Arthur with us in Minots. Thanks, Alexis. On to other news now. Three young children will be laid to rest next week. The siblings died in a house fire in Carrington the past weekend. How members of the community are learned, leaning on each other for strength now in this report. It's really good to have the community show up here. It's a lot of support for the family. 